Okay, um, Zineb asked me um, about using a crow quill pen to um, write letters on uh, on things like test plates. So uh, this, I'm just going to try this with my little camera and post it on the the uh, workshop page and see what we get. So this is P3. Um, this is an oxide from Thompson, and it is um, in a uh, mixed together with an oil. So it's a black oxide mixed together with oil, probably uh, th something a little thinner than squeegee oil. It has a tendency to um, to separate, and so every time you use it, you're going to have to um, go ahead and and re. Um, remix it so that you can actually get a substantial amount of the oxide up onto the um, onto the pan and um, this to do that um, I I just use the end of my curl curl pen because it's what's handy and I'm going to put a little bit of this um, this mixed up uh, solution in the lid of the um, of the P3, so I've got it uh, easy access. And and uh, hang on a second while I try to get this goop off of the pen. I'm just using a paper towel to wipe off my pen so I don't end up with it all over myself because it's kind of messy. All right. So um, then when I load the pen, you can see on the pen that there's a, a little hole in the nib and that well needs to be filled and then there's a slit in between the well and the tip of the pen and um, you'll see that when you get uh, get your curl coil pen you can you can buy these curl coil pens at Dick Blick or or um, Thompson so I'm going to dip the pen um, into the ink and um, and and whoops, where where am I here? Oh, here. So um, so here it is uh, with ink on the pen. I'm gonna um, write the the uh, color numbers on my test plate here, and um, I I also use this technique to uh, make little tiny details on like uh, whiskers on kitty faces and that kind of thing. So when you're when you're using the pen, you don't want to press real hard. You don't want to press hard enough to have the uh, slit on the point split. Um, but you want to uh, have a slow, steady pressure. You want to move, apply slow, steady pressure when I start drawing on, on my... Um, test plate Um, and that's all there is to it. So when I'm doing little details that I'm uh, drawing on a piece um, to use this, what I call it fine line black, but it's it's um, just an oxide in oil. Um, I I often use um, a series of little little dots to achieve what I'm going for, and. Um, when you're drawing with this ink, you you just have to move slowly so that the the ink has time to come down through there. It's pretty viscous. So okay, so I hope that's helpful. All right, talk to you later.